Hey everyone, sitting back in my dorm and I did a bit of rearranging. Um, I'm not living in the standard configuration that the dorm was set up when I moved in, so I figured I'd do a video about it. Um, kind of converted my apartment into a studio style living quarter versus how they had it before where it was like living room and then one room. So I just figured I'll show you guys around and let's take a look inside. All right, we're here, so let's take a look inside. So moving in, first things first, let's do a little sweep and panoramic view kind of of the place. And the main change you'll notice is the bed. So I decided to pull my bed out of storage. Uh, this was my twin that I used in college and I brought it up with me um, just in case I needed to use it and it turned out handy. Uh, and it's the whole reason I kind of decided to convert from the standard setup to this setup. And that was because the bed that was in the room um, that's in the corner over there was giving me a lot of back pain and I just had a hard time sleeping on it. And they don't let you move that bed out into storage unless you decide to hire a mover and do it yourself, which is a huge hassle. So I figured, let me just try sleeping on this small bed in the living room because it's also a lot colder because there's two AC vents in this living room, like one there and one up there. So this room's also a lot colder than the other one. And the room's also a lot darker at night because uh, you don't have light coming in. So I just figured I'll try it out and see how it is for a couple days and I ended up loving it. So I converted the whole place into sort of like a studio bedroom apartment type deal where everything is just in one room. So you got the kitchen over there and then my living quarters here. So yeah, that's just the overall look. And I guess I'll kind of take you through some of the upgrades, I guess, or changes that I did. Um, not a really big place to live. So I figure I'll just kind of harp on the details. So this bed, again, twin bed from my college days, serving me well, and hopefully it'll serve me uh, my entire time that I'm down here getting my wings. I decided to put all the certificates I got from Sear and from all of the little TDYs we did, um, kind of to make my life look more exciting than it actually is. But I figured I'll add some livelihood, or what's the word, not livelihood, liveliness to the room. Um, over here in this corner, I've kind of got my editing studio, not much to look at, really small space. Again, not a lot of open space to work with here. So that's why I ended up moving the couch to this corner. Um, there was nowhere else to put it. I wanted to put this room into that corner room for storage, but it wouldn't get through the door. So this is the only place I can really stick it that doesn't get in the way. Um, so yeah, not the prettiest, but whatever, it works. So anyway, back to this area here. This is where I do a lot of my video editing. Um, got my little music recording station over here. Play some uke, not as much as I used to, so I'm trying to get back into that. Maybe I'll put some uh, covers up on the channel, who knows. I got my Google Home installed over there, kind of like my smart speaker. I use that for my alarms to get up in the morning and when I'm cooking, I use it for timers. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Why are archeologists so annoyed? They always have a bone to pick. <laughs> Hilarious. So yeah, that comes in really handy. Um, I'm a big Google guy, so my computers, uh, my laptop's Google, got Chromecast set up over here. I didn't get the cable package, so Chromecast pretty much serves me for all my entertainment needs. Got my Xbox down there. Play some games when I'm bored. Some of the classic stuff. Don't really have any of the new consoles set up. Um, and uh, yeah, that's where I get most of my non-work productivity done. So video editing and photo editing, things like that happens in this corner. Moving on, TV doesn't come with the apartment, just a reminder, but um, I would suggest getting one because uh, listening to videos and movies out of your laptop all day gets kind of Tiresome on the eyes. Um, got Iron Man set up here. It's my Mark 46 costume that I made a while back. Finally got it assembled. It's still, still gotta put the gloves on there in the closet, but, and I gotta put the chest light in. But this guy looks pretty cool. Sometimes I'll turn the eyes on and keep that as like a little night light. So, kinda creepy I guess in retrospect, but I'm used to it, so. Got my bookshelf over here, kinda put up some of my collectibles. Um, my challenge coin collection so far, small humble collection, but you know, it's uh, growing each, uh, every few months I hopefully get one of those, so that's pretty cool to have. Uh, moving on to the kitchen, not a whole lot of difference here, put in some mats for the uh, floor, one for the cooking area, one for cleaning. I love command hooks, my girlfriend put up a few of these and I ended up rolling with it, so she put up that one and I ended up Putting, making a little cook station here with a spoon rest and some, I guess, uh, spatulas and spoons and stuff. Here's my mug from Sear. 
kind of like this thing. Nice uh, hefty little mug. You gotta have a souvenir from Sears, so I ended up going with that. There's my guitar. Uh, not, not anywhere else to put that, so ended up just hanging out over here. I wanted to keep it with the uke over there, but then that whole area gets a little too cluttered. Bathroom, not much to see. The only change I really did is put in some rugs. Um, that's about it for the bathroom. And then this room was what they kind of expect you to sleep in. It's where the queen set up, queen bed. Uh, I ended up moving the recliner into here, and I just used this room for storage slash like guest space. Um, I don't really hang out in this room. I come into this room maybe like twice a week, really. There's my other flight suit. I only end up really wearing one and I wash it each week. Um, patches from IFT, so kind of use this as my little memorabilia flight suit because that thing was a pain in the butt to get and I'm proud of it. So I like to keep that on the wall. So yeah, that concludes my new apartment tour. It's pretty small. So I wish I could show you guys some more, but you've seen it all and you don't want to hear me ramble. So um, if you guys are wondering uh, if there's some other section of the apartment that you wanted to see that I didn't cover, just drop a comment below or go ahead and send me a direct message if you have any questions about the living quarters in general. And in the next few days, I kind of want to do a tour of the entire complex outside and inside because um, the living, what is it, the unaccompanied officer's quarters in general is a pretty cool place so it's got some um, interesting uh, things about it so that's why I'll make a video tour of the whole place and that concludes this video thanks guys for watching again and I'll talk to you in the next video